Hey again, thanks for joining me here. This is Lieutenant Dan, and I'm going to be bringing you uh, some blogs, seven-minute blogs, on uh, my most recent book, Playing the Trump Card as America's Civil War Continues. And I hope you join me for each one of these. We're going to provide uh, small details on each one, but you can also download my most recent book on uh, the website www.ask-force.com. That's ask dash F-O-R-C-E dot com, as you can see on the screen there. And um, go ahead and down the book and download the book in PDF or EPUB version. You can also go to Smashwords and download it for free there. Uh, they've put it out on a number of uh, venues such as Barnes & Noble and Apple Books and such. Uh, you can also go to uh, uh, Amazon.com. It is available there, but there's a $3.99 charge for that, plus tax, whatever comes out of it. But uh, for now... We're going to go through, uh, again, my most recent book and talk about past events, current events, and then hopefully touch on some of the events that are going to be coming to us, depending on how we play our hand using the Ask um, prophecy, as well as the uh, trump card that's been dealt to us by Providence. And as you'll find, Providence, to me, is, uh, I, I use that instead of the term God, make it a little bit easier for some of you because there is a hand that is playing in this game and that's really what I'm going to share with you in this book as uh, time goes on. Um, so let's start right off here. I'm going to go into um, a French philosopher and author who wrote a book called Democracy in America. He wrote it back in 1831, Alexis de Tocqueville. And this is what he said. He said, America is great because America is good. If America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. Then he goes on further to say that liberty cannot be established without morality, nor morality without faith. And uh, that's really the bottom line. You know, our trump card is out there promoting that he's going to make America great. Well, the truth is you can't make America great. If you don't have faith, you can't have morality. Without morality, you can't be good. And without being good, you can't be great. So the idea is we really need to build our own individual uh, aspects, our, our, our character up, so that we can once again have a great nation that is a light, uh, shining light on the hill for the whole world to see. So let's look real quick at the uh, Lincoln Prophecy. Um, in essence, in 1838, just shortly after de Tocqueville's uh, statement, Lincoln had a prophecy that affects us today. And he says, shall we expect some transatlantic military giant to step the ocean and crush us at a blow? Never. All the armies of Europe, Asia, and Africa combined, with all the treasure of the earth, our own accepted, in their military chest, with a Bonaparte for commander, not, could not by force take a drink from the Ohio or make a trek on the Blue Ridge in a trial of a thousand years. At what point then is the approach of danger to be expected? I answer, if it ever reach us, it must, be, it must spring up amongst us. It cannot come from abroad. If destruction be our lot, we must ourselves be its author and finisher. As a nation of free men, we must live through all time or die by suicide. So <clears throat> you have it right there, the idea that America, as we are today, Lady Liberty is slowly walking the path to a gallows made by our own hands. We have allowed evil to enter our society and basically put us in a situation where we're truly at the brink of committing suicide. But we have a hand in this game. We are at the table and we have a trump card that's been played. How do we properly play that? And I say a trump card, so let's look at this real quick. Um, as you can see on here, on this uh, slide that's showing right now, I believe every name has a meaning. So looking at Bernard Sanders, very simple. It says bear defense. In Russian, Bernard means bear. Sanders means defense. Um, and then if we look at the next one, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton in Gaelic means hilarious cliff. Those two were running against each other, and America chose to follow the hilarious cliff. For on the Republican side, you had Raphael, or 
Ted Cruz, and uh, Raphael's is his true first name. So Raphael means God heals, and Cruz means the cross in Hebrew and Latin. So God heals through the cross. We rejected that and instead chose Donald Trump. Donald meaning the king and Trump being a wild card or a winning card that trumps all other cards. So that's where you have it right there. Interesting, isn't it, that names do play into things. Um, but maybe it was just for the 2016 elections. I don't think so. I think the 2020 elections are coming up. And um, we're going to figure out how those things play out as well. But it just shows that providence is in our world. Providence is in our nation. Providence plays in your life and my life. And each one of us have a chance to play in that game with providence or against providence. In this case, we need to move forward in the 2020 elections. So playing the Trump card is going to be a major factor in how our nation plays through the hand that we've been dealt. Hope you join me for uh, future blogs. Look forward to having you. And again, go out, grab my book on uh, www.ask-force.com. And, uh, and then you can also reach out to me on my uh, Facebook page, The Ask Force. So thanks for joining me. Bless you. And we'll talk to you later.